Hey, what is up, people of the interwebs? How y'all doing? Uh, this is Bez, coming at you with a Modern Warfare 2 game. Uh, this is Team Deathmatch, Mercenary Team Deathmatch, that is, on a state. My primary weapon is the UMP-45 Silence, but I don't think I use that. I mostly use this M10-14 shotgun, uh, which, in my opinion, is a very decent gun. Especially once you get extended mags for it. I don't have it at the moment, so the four the four shell clip isn't really that effective with for me. Uh, my perks are Marathon Pro, Lightweight Pro, and Ninja Pro, as you can see there. Uh, and I've also got Semtex and stuns on. Uh, this score in the game isn't that good. I mean, I get quite a positive kill to death ratio, but it's not a flawless or anything. It's nothing that epic. I just thought I'd bring you some good gameplay with the shotgun only game. Uh, my kill streak setup in this game, I believe, is the care package, sentry gun care package, and the emergency airdrop care package. Uh, this is, as you can see, on the double XP weekend, getting uh, 200 points per kill, 40 points for assist. Um, a state as a map, in my opinion, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I normally tend to skip it. Um, I don't mind it for ground war that much, as long as I don't get spawn trapped down at the sea area. But, uh, other than that, I skip it in most game modes, like search and stuff. Uh, the start of this game, I don't do very well. I keep dying a lot, but eventually I start picking up streaks and stuff. Um, having the 4, 5, and 8 care package kill streak setup thing, and me not actually taking any of it, I don't think. I might have taken one or two of the things, but uh, giving it mostly to my teammates also meant that all the kills I get pretty much are by me and not by any uh, support. Uh, I l tactical insertions in this game were just fantastic. Uh, they kept using them and I kept finding them and I just managed to keep uh, getting double kills because the thing with tactical insertion, if you want to use it effectively, you place it somewhere near but not directly next to you. As you saw there, I was able to kill him as soon as he respawned and he stood no chance whatsoever. Uh, if you do come across a tactical insertion, I most people destroy them and I don't get why when it's a cheap and easy kill for you right there uh, so I would take it but um, also just be sensible so you don't you're not standing right in front of them because if they've died and they know you're right there and you know they've got the tactical insertion down they might try and shoot just spray as soon as they spawn and try and hit you so just make sure you're at the side of it or lying down so they shoot over your head and stuff um, as you see there I just chuck them down and ran away uh, I think the enemy gets these though, I'm not sure, because I was here, yeah, and my teammate died there, that was by the care packages, so unfortunately, they get taken, the sentry gun, and I can't quite see what that is behind it, I think it's a predator missile, uh, was it counter UAV, can't see on the little screen in Sony Vegas, but uh, yeah, um, I've been trying to get like different gameplays with like shotgun only and stuff, here I saw a tactical insertion. This guy was really irritating. He was trying to shoot me with his, his spaz shotgun, um, which is another great shotgun. And uh, he kept walking around. I couldn't quite get him. And eventually he shot me. And I was like, oh well. Thought I'd go back for it. I think I used the US UMP here a little bit, maybe. No, no, I get the Semtex kill. And obviously he spawns with his tactical insertion. But I can't do anything about it because I'm not up there on the roof. Um... That spot on the roof is actually a very good spot. Oh, I get him again, but he obviously spawns once more from his tactical insertion. Uh, but that spot on the roof is a very good spot. I mean, if you can get up there as a sniper with a thermal scope, you can pretty much watch most of the map, especially that building where B is in domination. Uh, parts of the state windows where people like to shoot out of. And it's very good. There's two ways of getting up. There's this log way, which took me forever to get up because you have to time the jump perfectly. And then there's a much easier one at the front, uh, where there's a crack in the wall, but that's a lot more risky because you're right out in the open and you're quite viable to get shot. Uh, saw that guy just turn, waiting for him to spawn again. Another kill. Got my package. Uh, I was lucky there because I just managed to get him, and then I got shot. Might have sniped there, but you know. Got my care package, sent it in, ran away, got out my shotgun like I do. So far I'm not doing too badly. I think I find the tactical insertion people in this building again. Chuck them in my Semtex. Yep, pick up a, I think that was just a single Semtex. Yeah, because it's double XP. 
have a quick look just in case the Semtex got a hit marker on someone else. Uh, this back window is a very good spot as you will have seen in my uh, flawless 26 no domination on the state. Uh, that back window actually, there's a lot more action around the back of that building than you than you realise. Hate it when the your own team put airstrikes right on top of you and it shakes the ground and you can't do anything. Um, so yeah, not really much to talk about <laughs> now I'm afraid. Just basically the shotgun, quite like it, needs to get a bigger clip. Uh, I love tactical insertions, is basically all I've got to say. Just getting shot, and I managed to pull this off, which I was pretty happy about. Reload, just managed to get that one bullet in and kill him for the sentry gun, which I was pretty chuffed about, because I thought that was well played. Managed to keep behind the cover. Uh, for you, I think I could keep one of these two, I'm not sure. Oh, I deliberately took that out of the map for the crap, but I think someone gets it anyway. Um, for you... For people that don't know the double YY tactic, if you're midway through reloading and you want to cancel it, just hit Y twice, so it'll switch to your secondary, or in my case, the primary, because I'm already using the secondary, and it'll switch back, like, instantly, so that way you'll just get your gun back out. It's also a good way of cancelling, not just a reload, but, like, cutting a reload short, because most of the time, like, especially on the big... Uh, LMGs, it tends to do like a little extra fiddly bit where it pulls this little lever on the side or whatever or smacks it on the top. If you just click double Y, it'll cancel that bit out and you reload it a lot quicker than need be. Uh, I think this game's coming to an end in about a minute or two. I was going for the headshot there, I don't know how I missed, that was really bad. Uh, yeah, just again, love tactical insertions because they get me kills when other people use them. Uh, this guy I saw, I think I chased him down, Hit him, which is alright. I apologise for all the people signing in, I didn't turn off my notifications when I film, because I just think it's pointless. Might as well just put up with them. Uh, Claymore there, did well there, just managed to get that kill. To be honest, I think I should have done a lot better there, but, you know, I got lucky, which, you know, defines a lot of good players in this game actually in my opinion uh, lucky people in this game tend to do well I mean you see people getting like six in one sprays with with a p90 but then you don't realize that uh, that six people ran in front of the guy and he just happened to be in the right place at the right time so it, I think luck plays a big part in in this game but you know skill obviously is is, is a huge factor too um, as for Mystery Team Deathmatch, uh, Mystery Team Deathmatch as a game mode for me is very good game mode because it lets me just go around trying these like little things. Uh, Mystery Team Deathmatch is actually a great game to try and run with the marathon lightweight ninja thing like I do, but with a uh, MP5K silenced or whatever. And uh, got lucky to get away with that kill there. Uh, and it lets you just sort of try out different stuff because you're not affecting your team that much because they've gone in as a mercenary team deathmatch they know that you're not going to be playing that much as a team so yeah uh, that's the end I ended up on 24 for 9 I hope you enjoyed the gameplay please like comment subscribe thanks bye bye now